Well, when we first set out the trail cameras, the very first wolverine we saw was this big male, big male wolverine, and we'd see him almost every day on the trail cameras. And so I named him Brutus because he was so fat that he couldn't even climb up the trees. He was just falling out of the trees and he was just this big, heavy brute of a wolverine. And in fact, that was the first wolverine I ever filmed live from the blind. He came out to the lodge. We started identifying Bandit in 2012. We could see it, she was a uh, lactating female, so she had kits in a den nearby. And we believe we have footage of her young because the next year she was really close with these other two younger sub-adult sub wolverines, white tips and shaggy. And so they were always close, hanging out together. Um, and so getting footage of Bandit over a three year span is pretty special. And she's some of the nicest footage in the film. She's romping around in the snow, she's popping up, you know, and she's kind of almost playful in her actions as she's, you know, moving through the, the along the riverside. But Bandit, White Tips, Shaggy, it's pretty special. And then getting footage of Shaggy in summer, we didn't expect to ever get footage of Wolverines in summer because of the foliage. Access to the locations is really difficult. There's tons of bugs, it's just nasty in the boreal forest in the middle of summer. And just getting that little glimpse of Shaggy was really special because I could freeze frame the footage and go, that's Shaggy, see, you could see his chest pattern in winter. Looked at him in summer, I knew it was him.